Hi guys. Oppo R11 has been in the news for the past few weeks, both officially and unofficially. Now, the company has finally released its new smartphone, as well as its larger sibling, Oppo R11 Plus. This makes them the first Snapdragon 660 smartphone in the market. It is really important because many Chinese flagships are going to have this chipset in coming months. Design Oppo R11 doesn't disappoint. Oppo phones have always followed a similar design as iPhone series. The latest R11 and R11 Plus clearly continue the trend. They look very similar to iPhone 7 Plus, even in terms of their dual camera placement. I'm not a big fan of companies copying the design from Apple, but it has worked wonders for Oppo in the past 12 months. And there was probably no good reason for the brand to change this strategy. If you can ignore the striking similarity to Apple iPhone 7 Plus, the metal built of the phone looks quite good. The antenna band design is unintrusive, and the color options are definitely an added plus. There is the regular gold, rose gold and black color options. The bezels on the side look slim, and there's a fingerprint sensor, embedded into physical home button, just below the display. Unlike most Android manufacturers, Oppo's strategy about hardware has been less aggressive. Instead of equipping its flagship models with top processors and memory, the company has always focused on using upper mid-range specs. That's not a bad thing, as Snapdragon 660 is quite a capable chipset, placed just below the top-end Snapdragon 835. Oppo R11 and R11 Plus differ in terms of RAM and display sizes. R11 comes with 5.5-inch 1080p display, 4GB RAM, and 64GB of internal storage. On the other hand, the Oppo R11 Plus features larger 6-inch display with 1080p resolution, 6GB of RAM, and 64GB of internal storage. The batteries are also different, R11 coming with 3000 mAh capacity battery, and R11 Plus getting a large 4000 mAh. Both get book fast charging support. Also, there's micro SD card support for both the models, but it's a hybrid one. Oppo R11 and R11 Plus have the same camera setup. The rear setup consists of 16 megapixels, f/1.7 aperture, Sony IMX398 sensor, and the second 20 megapixels, f/2.6 Sony IMX350 sensor with telephoto lens. You can take portrait, bokeh photos, and even 4K videos either in wide angle or telephoto from the rear setup. It also comes with 2x optical zoom. As for the front camera, Oppo has used 20 megapixels f/2.0 aperture sensor to take care of your seal fire photos. The software is New Color OS 3.1 based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Initially, Oppo had announced that it would unveil Oppo R11 and R11 Plus on June 10th. The company promised to reveal the prices tomorrow.
Under the video, you can find actual prices and where to buy smartphones cheaper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.